sir what is going on youtube we are back at it with another forza horizon 3 build video man um i mean I, I i don't think i really need to say much anymore man you guys know how we do it every single day taking your requests if you have any requests drop them down in the comment section if you're not subscribed yet smash that subscribe button man because uh like i say videos every single day more to come uh your requests that's pretty much it, man. The gist of it. Today, we have a request coming from a couple people on YouTube. P-Man Schmidt and Even X Top Drift on YouTube both want to see the new Honda Civic Type R. Now, the reason that I chose this build is because, to be honest, I don't even think that I have done one of the new Hondas on the channel i know that i actually souped one up there it is right there the 2016 uh, hot hatch thirty eight thousand dollars now i did one of these just kind of on my own time to see what it's all about um now these things came out in like i think 2015 or this one's a 2016 but to be honest we have not seen any of these over here in canada and if they are in canada anyways I haven't seen one in person, um, so very rare here. I'm not really sure if the same goes for, let's say, the States, uh, but like I say, I've not seen anything like this. Lots of new Honda Civics out there, man, just not the Type Rs. Uh, seen a few of the SIs, uh, but for today, man, we're just going to get started, obviously, jumping into the upgrade section. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this thing comes stock with a turbo. Um, I'm just going to verify that right now before I go on. Yeah, stock with a turbo. So I think it's a 2 liter. Not sure if this is the K-Series motor. Um, if it is a K-Series, Honda definitely um, went the right route here, man. Now, if you guys don't know about the K-Series, the K20, K24, man, um, just absolute monster engines. I myself drive a G35 and I know people who have the K-Series Hondas. And I got to say, man, these things are pretty quick. With a, Right out of the gate, about a 15-second car with a good driver. Um, a little bit of mods, a little bit of weight reduction. And you're, you're looking at some serious numbers, man. So I got a lot of respect for the Honda game. And I got to say, the reliability coupled with the you know good performance and handling... Um, really makes Hondas great cars for car enthusiasts. And it's kind of crazy because a lot of people, you know, may have their personal opinion on Honda. And, you know, generally speaking, when I was more into American vehicles, when I had my Impala, um, I, I kind of hated on the Hondas. But now that I'm an import enthusiast with my Infiniti, I got a kind of a soft spot for them. Um, so I'm just going to skim through a couple options here until I find some wheels that I like. Now, one wheel that is, um, you know, not necessarily iconic, but very well known in the import scene is obviously the RPF1. So I think we're going to go with those and the front rim size. I think we're going to leave the wheel size the way they are. Now, obviously, in this chrome finish, not really digging that, but I think we'll be able to fix that up once we get into the paint shop. Uh, clutch is going to get upgraded. Transmission, I think we can leave the transmission the same. I'd like to see what the gear ratios can do for us stock. And we are going to put on a race diff just for fun. Now, as far as the platform and handling, going to go ahead, upgrade those brakes. Um, every Honda should be slammed to the ground as far as I'm concerned, or at least have no wheel gap. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that right now. Any roll bars, both front and back, uh, upgrade. No, nah, you know what? I'm not, I'm not really feeling a roll cage. We're going to keep this one a street car. However, we are going to fully weight reduce it. Uh, reason being is that, you know, Hondas are really big for the power to weight ratio, obviously, uh, being light, smaller cars. They don't need to have a lot of horsepower in order to make uh, good performance gains and numbers. Uh, obviously, the horsepower is never going to change. But when you're out on a track or on, you know, quarter mile drag strip, the lighter, the better uh, in most cases anyways. I mean, once you get to the point where it's a little too light and uh, the car starts to not be able to grip, then it's when it, that's when it becomes a problem. 
Uh, so we're going to go ahead and buy this up. A few light upgrades on here. Some turbo upgrade uh, intake and exhaust, which is pretty much the standard, uh, I think, like stage one. You know, add an intake, add an exhaust, um, maybe an ECU flash. Not necessarily a bigger turbo, which we did, but uh, I think it's going to help. Now, as far as the tires go, uh, gearing, everything's looking good. Alignment, we're just going to give this thing a little bit of a nice stance here. Nothing too crazy. Any roll bars. Now, obviously, I said I want this thing to be slammed. I'm just going to lower the front because the, right now, as it sits, the wheel gap looks a little bit uneven. Uh, the dampening, we're going to stiffen up on the rear. And everything else, we're just going to go ahead and leave the way that it is. And obviously, we're going to have to jump into the paint shop. Um, not really sure the scheme that I want to go with this car. Uh, I just picked the white because I like to start out in a... Oh, it looks very nice in the black, man. Wow, that, that looks extremely sleeperish. Um, you know, I'm not really feeling any of these bright colors. Uh, let's see, red maybe. No, I don't know, man. I'm thinking just a straight black. Straight black. And those NKs, they need to get a little bit of a color change. Not black. I'm thinking maybe a white wheel. Black out the windows. Spoiler's good the way that it is. The hood. Let's do a carbon fiber hood on here. matte carbon fiber gloss we'll do the gloss carbon fiber and i mean for a honda man that's pretty much all that you need to do this thing is looking pretty sick um and let's be honest man this thing is not really a stance car this is more of a performance vehicle as far as i'm concerned so with that being said i think the only thing left to do is take it out on the street and see how it performs so right off of the bat, we're just going to do a little 360. Now, I really love the little red striping along the front and rear. Uh, I guess you could say diffuser or splitter they got going on there. Not too loud considering uh, normally Hondas with full exhaust are quite a bit louder than this. But uh, let's take it out on the street. Get an interior shot. Ooh, that right-hand drive. True day JDM. JDM. True JDM, like that red Honda logo. See how she rips. Oh, you can see that, uh, I guess the shift lights up there. I wonder if they would adjust with a cam, you know, if the red line was quite a bit higher than stock. Oh, this thing sounds great, man. Now, I'm surprised it took Honda. Oh, sorry, guys, running through the little restaurant here. I'm surprised that it took Honda this long to get into the turbo game, especially with the Civics. Now, I know, I think, I want to say the first stock car that came with a, a turbo from Honda would have been the Acura RDX. Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Off the top of my head, I can't really think of any, like, Passenger vehicles, anyways. Wow, this is this thing handles amazing. It's like a little go kart. Brakes are very responsive. Not a whole ton of power, but it it doesn't need a lot of power, man. It, Turns on a dime. The turning is great. Keep forgetting we're in Australia here. I want to drive on the right-hand side of the road. Let's get a little exterior shot here. You hear that VTEC kicking? Oh, this is a fun car, man. I don't think I even souped up the other uh, Honda that I built before. Pretty sure I just wanted to run it and see how it did stock, but with an upgraded turbo exhaust and intake, obviously some suspension upgrades and tires. 
Lots of understeer, just pushes right out to the side. Especially when you get on the gas. Lots of torque steer. This is a great car, man. This is a really great car. Let's see. Looks like some guys toge, doing some toge uh, lapping up here. Let's see if we can get up there. Get ourselves a race. I don't even know what kind of cars we're working with. Oh, damn. What is this thing, man? Yeah, I want this guy right here. Let's get it, bro. Looks like a Lotus. Yeah, Penske. Oh, man. We're going to get ruckus right here. Let's see if the Honda... With that handling, cut the corner. Oh, this is a straightaway. I think he's going to get me on the straight. I was hoping to get him more inside some turns. That uphill is killing me. Very light, though, this car. Considering we're this close is a miracle. Because Oh, he just wrecked. And so did I. Okay, I think we might be... That was a fail on both of our parts. I'm going to cut his sucker... The sucker man right off right now. I was hoping to get him more in, into some turns there. See if we can get some uh, some lapping in there. But, I mean, the Honda performs pretty good, man. I got to say, where are we going here? Street race invitation here on your map. Oh, really? All righty. Well, thank you for that. I guess they want me to do more street races, but we're trying to do videos right now. See, this road looks pretty cool. Let's take a little rip up here. Uphill pulling, lots of tire spin, second gear. A little bit there in the third. This is a drift zone, but that's not going to help with our front wheel drive Honda. So we're just going to try to get up this hill as quick as possible. Oh, those downshifts are on point though, man. Trying hard not to rip it off the side of the road. Look at this, look at this. Oh, I, I was gonna try to make, I think if that guy wasn't there, I might have had a chance of making that, but. This thing boogies, man. That turbo just screams when you get on it. Oh, no. Missed that turn. I was going to challenge that guy, but he was going off-road. Well, this isn't a rally car. This is more so a street car. Yes, bud. Yes. This thing is great, man. This car right here. Ah, oh, taking it off-road anyways, eh? I don't want to stop driving this car. This is a lot of fun, man. It's like a, definitely like a little go-kart. What? Look out. We're going to need to find a little spot to put an end to this video, man. You guys are probably getting bored of watching me race here. Well, not race, just, you know, maybe if I was racing, it might not be quite as boring. Uh, I don't see any, like, you guys know I like to steal some people's driveways. It's just kind of a thing that I do. And, like, we are legitimately in the middle of nowhere. All right, we're going to pull off here by the railroad tracks. Uh, I guess a little change of scenery here. Oh, I thought it was going to get run into real quick there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put an end to this one. So as always, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, if you guys do have any requests, definitely don't forget to drop them down in the comment section. And don't forget to click subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, and that's about it, man. So as always, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Don't die. Oh, shit. Where you going, bro? Don't be creeping on my friend. Don't be creeping on my friend. You and your homie. Oh, nut shot. Nut shot. Oh, buddy. Let's go. And
is your boy, man. Get him out of here. Oh, you fucking. Ah!